Yeah, this is my photo. This, I, we were talking earlier about before photos. I didn't take one with my app because I don't like having my photo taken. That's a photo at my parents' house. They had a double height sitting room. My son took the picture with a phone from above. Um, so that's, that's me. Um, I guess my story starts um, when I was quite young. Two people had quite a sort of damaging effect, and I don't think either of them would ever know that they did. One was a swimming teacher who told me to get out the pool fatty. And until that point, I had never thought about it. Now, I gave up swimming when I was 11, so I wasn't old. Looking back, recently my parents moved house and I found a picture of the swimming club and I'm looking for the fat one. Where am I? And I wasn't. I was not. And I realise now, looking back, he probably thought it was safe to say it to me because I really wasn't fat. But as a 10, 11 year old, that was devastating. The other thing was my gran, she um, used to say to me, if you're fat, you'll never find a husband. <laughs> and um, <laughs> And she, um, she had two biscuit barrels in her house. And there was one that had tea biscuits and digestives. And the other one had chocolate biscuits. And my brothers, yeah, I know, my brothers were allowed to have the chocolate biscuits because it didn't matter. And, um, and I remember once, she never did it when my mum was around. And I remember once my mum was there and I dared to have a chocolate biscuit. Oh, boy, did I know about that afterwards. <laughs> she took me into the kitchen later and spoke to me. She did it for a very good reason. What was I going to say? Yeah, I went to university and I had put on a bit of weight. Suddenly I was, had money that I could spend on my own food and, you know, the normal things didn't really matter. I could get beer. And, um, and I could also get chocolate and cream cakes and all these things. And I, wait, I, would never, I didn't ever put on masses of amounts at any one time. I just gradually got a bit bigger. And, um, and then I got married and then I got pregnant. And um, that, somebody saying earlier about good excuses. Um, cream cake, that's milk, calcium, good for bones. So um, I had cream cakes while I was pregnant because that was good for building baby's bones. And then we moved, and so I was in a new place with a baby and I didn't know anybody, and, um, and I had nowhere to go, and so I stayed at home and I ate. And after I had my second child, I was really unwell. I had a um, problem with my gallbladder and actually lost over three stone in about eight weeks because I just couldn't eat. And... Um, and Long story, I got, you know, I got a hospital bug, Clostridium difficile, I couldn't, and so for quite a while, couldn't eat, and I was so chuffed. I was like, it's just as well, I had three stone to lose, though, eh? Hey. So, you know, and I, and um, I thought, yeah, this is it, I've lost all that weight, but because I hadn't chosen to lose the weight, I hadn't, my head wasn't there, and as I was able to start eating things again, and um, it took about five years before I could have milk or cream, and then... Um, but once I could, I had too much, you know, you're sort of like, oh, I'm allowed to have this, I can eat this now. And, and it all just came back on. And the turning point for me was um, about this time a year ago, I started to think, because my mom and my son, who was 10, made some comment about me being fat. And I said, well, that's not a very nice thing to say. And he said, no, but it's true. And as far as he was concerned, he was being honest. He wasn't, and I've brought him up to be honest, but um, it hurt. And so you st I started to think, is that really how I want to be seen? And, um, and so I sort of started being a bit healthier about what I was doing. And then I got an email to say about some other, somebody else that was doing a gastric band just after New Year. And I thought, well, maybe that, you know, virtual... There was another app. I got an email about it. And I thought, went on to have a look. And I thought, it didn't get very good reviews. And so, but having searched it, this one came up. And, um, and I started, but I completely believed that this would work from the offset. I hadn't done all the, I did do Scottish Slimmers once, but I, hadn't, I didn't do all the yo-yo dieting or anything. I just gradually, you know, put on a little bit here and there. And... Um, yeah, and so I weighed myself, and, but I thought, this is going to, this, 
this makes sense to me. I really believe this can work. And, um, and the first week I lost five pounds and I was just like, yes, see, I was right. And I completely believed in it from the offset. And by the summer, I was um, four and a half stone lighter from January. And um, I have now since lost another half stone um, because I went off on holiday. <laughs> and I'd been maintaining for about six weeks by then, hadn't lost anything. But I went off on holiday and I came back and I was a pound lighter and I thought, hmm. And then I lost again and, I lost, and so I'd lost three pounds and I suddenly thought, do you know, I could be five stone lighter by, by the conference, that would be really good. And for a split week there, I went into diet mode and thought, I shouldn't have that because I started thinking, oh no, if I'm good and have the salad, then, you know, and I was having it because I felt I ought to and that would help me lose the weight by conference. And so I gave myself a bit of a talking to and I um, got back into the guidelines, <laughs> reread them and did it. And I have to say that I have actually lost now five stone one pound and um, since January. <laughs> and I, yeah, somebody says earlier, I think it was Tracy about being proud. I am quite proud of that. I still expect people when I go to try on clothes to go, mm, that's never going to fit you. I think you ought to have, you know, but uh, nobody's done it yet. So that must mean something. But uh, yeah, and it is, it's the confidence just to, to be me.